Nobu Lorette. While issuing cars accused, President Muhammad Buhari led federal government of lacking the solutions to the challenges confronting Nigeria. Shoinka said Nigeria was fast disintegrating because the current government lacked the solution to the challenges facing the country. He stated this at a news conference at Freedom Park, Lagos State yesterday. The noble laureate cautioned Nigerians against looking up to the government for solutions facing the country. According to Shoinka, the problem here is that the government does not have a holistic grasp of the problems in Nigeria. If we are looking to this government for a solution, then it means we are lost. We are in a mess. This country is in a mess. It is disintegrating before our very eyes. This government is floundering. He noted that the solution to Nigeria's challenges is a sovereign national conference. Shoinka said the various ethnic groups in Nigeria should come together and chat away towards their mutual coexistence. Nigeria is gradually uh, breaking away. The, the, so much, the cracks on the wall, they are very, very obvious now. This is not the first time talks of uh, Nigeria collapsing is coming up. Wale Shoinka has always spoken about it. We know Wale Shoinka is uh, well respected both um, nationally and internationally. He's received a series of um, awards. He's the one speaking right now. And um, it's, uh, uh, the, the situation we find ourselves is not a very good one. And the message he's got to Nigerians is that those who are still looking up to President Mohamed Buhari's government for solution to fix it, then uh, they should know that uh, they are lost. And this, this, this will uh, uh, make you wonder that those governors that are moving, that are jumping ship, that are moving from one party to the other, most especially those who are moving from the opposition party to the ruling party, all in the name that they've seen the developmental uh, strides of President Mohamed Buhari, all in the name that uh, Buhari's government is making changes. If we recall, um, uh, it was uh, Femi Fanika this one that shook the whole nation. The surprise, it was such a shocker. Fanika Ode, who has always criticized President Mohamed Buhari's administration, who has always talked about um, uh, um, how Buhari has not held this country together, all of a sudden he's turned around. You know, it's a case of a dog going back to his vomit. But we know Fanika Ade, at the point when he was defecting, he knew what would come. He knew the sort of backlash and he was prepared for it. You know, the, the statement he dropped that he doesn't care what anybody thinks about his decision, that people will say whatever, that they can say whatever they want to say. You know, pre uh, former President uh, Olushego Obasanjo <laughs> dropped a comment. He said, anywhere there is food, that is where Fanika Ade will be. That is where he will go. So back to uh, Wale Shonika, it's, it's really surprising. So that will tell us that all of those, first, that tells us that all of those governors who are jumping to the All Progressive Congress, who are, are moving over, all in the name that uh, they've seen changes and that uh, Buhari is championing a new pathway. You know, uh, back to Fanika Odege, he stated something that uh, he, when he saw the move, that the country is moving uh, there's a new move, it's moving to a new direction. All he did was just join that train, moving to a new direction. It is obvious that the country, things are falling apart, things are not working. How come it's only those governors who are moving over there, the ones seeing the changes that they are talking about? I mean, if President Mohamed Buhari's administration is working so well and there are changes, these changes will be evident in all of the um, local governments in the country. All of the six geopolitical zones, not only one region and not only some set of persons who have personal interests, everybody will feel it in the security of the country, will know that um, things are getting better, people are safe, people can travel. We are not hearing reports of 20 people being kidnapped, 30 people being kidnapped, uh, 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 attacks by full, surprisingly full and headsmen are still attacking people, even after the call for open the ban on open grazing. Then let's move into the education system. We will know that things are working. The healthcare system, the economy, the economy is, is bad right now. The way things have gone up in prices, that, and we've not even talked about uh, the agitations. Agitations are in one point. The country is in a total mess. That's what uh, uh, our is talking about. And he's actually speaking the truth. He's speaking the truth. What he's offering right now is that uh, President Mohamed Buhari has got no solution. He said Buhari's government has got no solution. He's right to say that, very right to say that. If Buhari has got solution for this country, do not take him 
more than how many years you know he's been in power for six years if it was his first year one would say okay he's just trying to uh um understand or trying to put things together six whole years 24 months in each year has gone and passed and this man is just been there from medical uh, uh tourism to one thing or the other moving from one place to another busy doing nothing and people are dying people are living in hardship serious hardship and buhari's government is just there what is most painful is that the senate they are watching all of this there is no call to even impeach. You know, um, it was uh, um, the former emir of Kanu, Lamido Sanusi, also the former governor of Central Bank. He was the one who stated that all of the things that President Mohamed Buhari had done during this his administration, they are impeachable. It's enough reason for him to have been impeached. But who is going to impeach him, my people? Is he Ahmad uh, uh, <laughs> Lawan? La one who is his right hand man. You know, that's why Nigerians refer to the Senate as APC Senate, as Buhari Senate. They can't do anything against President Mohammed Buhari. Everything Buhari throws at them, they accept, they sign, they just, uh, um, no query, no questioning, nothing. They just accept it. It's a very, it's a, it's the situation where we are right now. You know, the international community, they keep raising concerns about what is going on in the country. And when Buhari wants to speak to the international community, he gives them this impression that all is well. But he doesn't know that uh, um, this, the international community, they are watching, they are seeing everything happening. All of the news, all of the kidnappings, all of the killings, everything, even the economy, the hike in prices. They are seeing everything and the leader is coming to say that um, everything is well. All is not well. Buhari has no solution for Nigeria's problem. The country is fast disintegrating. That is what Wale Shonika is talking about. Even the agitations, President Mohamed Buhari has not thought about it that uh, uh, let's have a dialogue. He can dialogue with bandits. He's been told bandits, the activities, the, their activities are likened to that of terrorists. As such, they should be uh, regarded. They should be regarded as terrorists. Buhari has not said anything about that. He's not said anything. He shows that he's in support of uh, terrorism. He's, he's even in support. He's part of those worsening the insecurity in the country. We know when his uh, lawmakers from his home state in Castina, they regretted supporting President Mohamed Buhari. All they told him is that uh, Buhari can actually end this insecurity in one week. It won't take him more than one week to end the insecurity in the country. They, are, they said they are not asking him for too much, but he should just return the country to the way it was. When he took over from good luck with Jonathan. Well, Nigerians, uh, Wale Shonika, the message Wale Shonika has for Nigerians is that uh, and those that are still believing that help is coming from President Mohamed Buhari, they are mistaken. That there's nothing coming from Buhari's administration. Buhari does not have the solution of the country. That the solution of Nigeria's challenges right now is a sovereign national conference. Leave us your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. And please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.